Well, members of a women's country line dance team say they were booted out of a Seattle dance convention after organizers claimed their American flag themed shirts made some attendees feel triggered and unsafe. The borderline dance team says they were invited to the Emerald City Hoedown in Seattle. The organizer, the Rain Country Dance Association and LGBTQ plus dance community have been inviting them to come to its dance convention for years. But when the ladies arrived to perform, they say they weren't greeted with a warm welcome. Taking to Facebook, they shared saying, at first we were told we would just be booed at, yelled at, and likely many of them would walk out. This did not deter us, but then we were given an ultimatum. Remove the flag tops and perform in either street clothes, which most of us didn't bring as they traveled there in their uniforms, or they would supply us with ECH shirts from years past, or don't perform at all, which effectively was asking us to leave. Yeah, the team decided they would not be removing their uniforms and ended up not performing. However, they say they were not alone. Another team, the West Coast Country Heat, who were also scheduled to dance for the convention that evening, also did not perform. They, too, were proudly wearing patriotic uniforms. Both of the U.S. teams stood in solidarity and putting actions to words. Again, the dance team told the American flag shirt they didn't feel safe. And they felt triggered by it. What's really sad is, you know, we're about to be discussing chance calling for death to America and death to Israel, mm -hmm. which I know we've been covering it, and we'll dive into that a little deeper. And yet it's the American flag shirt that's too offensive and goes too far for people these days. Really, the flag that's supposed to represent all of us, uh, all different races and backgrounds and sexual orientations and gender identities. Everyone's included under the American flag. And this is what pushed people to the limit. These ladies couldn't dance, really, at this dance festival. It's so disappointing. I think the fact that it happened in Seattle is maybe a little less surprising, right? Yeah, Based that's surprising. Sure, sure. But also just the sheer um, censorship, too, which could go, and go unnoticed, that you, you are discriminated against if you are wearing something that is supporting um, the nation for which you stand, the nation for which you dance, right? Mm -hmm. This is all they wanted to do is have this friendly dance competition. They're patriotic. They love their country. What's so wrong with that? I remember a time in, during 9-11 where everyone was putting up American flags everywhere. You love your country. It's sad to think that the only time that you can really come together with just about everyone from the far left, far right, everyone coming together is when things go really bad and you start to realize that you're unified when you're under attack. Unfortunately, um, even to, to think about that, but that has been something that this nation has faced before. Um, and now we're in this zone where you're feeling triggered by the American flag, and if you're having anything with it, you're kicked out of the dance competition. I'm sure those ladies are doing just fine, and kudos to them for not caving to those requests. Yeah, absolutely.